Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. All right, so the priestiness and a little bit of Goldshire Footman tech has gotten me up to three wins and no losses. You know what that means? Here come some losses. Because I'm pretty sure if I keep not losing, it's going to keep trying and trying to find me more difficult opponents. And that's kind of how matchmaking works. What have we got? Another priest. Well, that's not good. I always hate mirror matches, which probably just means that I'm not as confident as, I, as other people. But, yeah, I, I always hate the mirror match. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this, definitely, because it's too expensive. And I'm probably going to get rid of the Holy Nova as well. I'll try and play my Direwolf Alpha more aggressively this time. Yeah, he seemed impressive when I used him later in the game, but how much difference did it really make? Might he have been more useful early on? Probably. I do like having the Holy Smite, and this this is actually a strong starting hand. Having the choice between the Fairy Dragon and the Holy Smite, hopefully I have a good chance to control whatever's going to come out on the board. And since my opponent didn't play a, uh, a, cre a creature for one mana, a minion, I'm going to play the Fairy Dragon. If he has a Holy Smite, he can't blow it up, because the Fairy Dragon can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, so you can't shoot him with the Mage either. Mage has the only spirit, the only power that actually targets an enemy minion, because both the Rogue and the Druid can still do one damage with their power, but they do it through attacking, which is not aiming with a hero power, it's just attacking. Now this is interesting, because he is a really high priority to kill, and preferably kill in one blow, so my opponent only gets one card, but the Fairy Dragon can do that and survive, so... I will oblige. I, of course, can't heal the Fairy Dragon. And I could play the Direwolf first, which I might as well, but it doesn't make a difference, because the 3 damage is already enough to kill it. If I was attacking the Priest directly, it would do more damage. But it's much more important to me to kill this guy, and not let my opponent draw some extra cards. Because get what? guess what? Cards are what make you win. I have a lot of expensive stuff in my hand. I'm a little worried about that. Oh. Yeah, you can't do, you can't blow up the fairy dragon with that, so you have to take out the wolf, which is still worthwhile. The wolf was doing three damage as well, two for itself and one for the dragon, so go nuts. It makes sense. Uh, now I'm going to hit for three. Do I want to steal cards from my opponent? I, I don't actually steal them, because they're still there. It's like downloading something illegally off the internet. I'm going to download cards illegally out of your deck, basically. You get two cards that could be anything that's in here, but... Mm -hmm. The other choice is I could hit for three, play this guy, I'd return the Fairy Dragon to my hand, I'd have a 5-4 out, and when I replay the Fairy Dragon, it would get its one health back, which I can't heal this way. That's not the worst. I think I might hold off on this. Put it on your Boing. Not the best use of his ability, for sure, but... I don't know. So got a big fat minion out. Now, my opponent might have a Shadow Word Death. Nope, oh, that's not Shadow Word Death. In fact, that is another minion that I can just barely kill and survive, which means I'm going to. This is so dangerous. If you haven't seen this before, I mean, it turns all of my opponent's healing into damage, basically. Now, that works both ways. If, if he casts Holy Nova, it would damage all of his minions and himself. And then damage all my minions in itself. It doesn't reverse all healing. It just turns all healing... It doesn't reverse all his damage spells. It just turns healing into damage. So this still says lesser heal. It still says it restores two health. And it still shows the animation for restoring two health. Sort of. Except that it removes two health. Um, I don't see any reason not to kill like this. And I could play two Fairy Dragons. I'm worried that my opponent might be able to Holy Nova if I do that. So I'm going to see what card I can get from my opponent. What cards. I'm glad to have that Shadow Word Death just in case. But yeah, I'm actually just going to heal this guy. So probably put out a Fairy Dragon. I mean, they probably don't have a Holy Nova, but they might. They could have five of them in their deck for all I know. Or they could have got Shafted and have none. 
That's what it's like in the arena. It is a common priest card, so it's reasonable to assume that my opponent might have one. If, at least to treat that as the worst case scenario. Alright, so I could heal him and kill that, which would leave my guy with one health again. And this guy would be able to kill him. But I could do that and then holy smite this guy. I could just play the Lord of the Arena, which would make this a 6-4 hit for 6. and That's very aggressive, but I'd rather have control. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm thinking the wrong thing. Lord of the Arena is different. Lord of the Arena might work out well. I was thinking of this guy. Confusing him. But no, right now I can only cast him. He has taunt, so he would stop that stuff, but they would just kill him, and yeah, it's not going to be worth it. I think the best play is use my stuff most efficiently. Use the heal, since I have this rare, lovely situation. I forgot that his maximum hit points were 4. For some reason I was thinking he was a 5-5. Five, five. That makes my whole plan stupid. Excellent. I um, think I am going to kill this guy. But instead of trading for that now, I'm just going to hit for a damage. And I'm going to play another guy who is also big enough to kill him. So... He, he might want to trade this for one of those guys, but I'm going to give him the choice, which is risky, because he could get, kill one of them some other way. So there's a legendary, which is not a pleasant sight in the arena. She's a 5-5, five, five, and when she dies, my opponent can take control of any minion I can have, at random. So here's the thing. If I trade this for that, he's not going to get the ability, Right? Because they're both going to die, and then she's going to, as she die, try to take control of something else I have. As long as I don't play another minion first, I can trade this, and neither of us will have anything. Which is so much better for me that I'm going to do that. Round. For sure. And then... What to do after that? So, 7 mana, I mean, I could play him, I don't like playing him on his own. I think I'm going to play a ton of weenies. Now, th my opponent has a Holy Nova, and I'm going to get Holy nova -ed. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play the Lord of the Arena. He has Taunt, which isn't as needed right now, because it would only matter against charge things. Like, my opponent probably can't attack with anything. But it's going to help protect the Light Warden, maybe. If if he uses a Holy Nova, she can kill that, but he can kill that, but it would only do two damage to this guy. It's probably not that worthwhile. But now, if my opponent heals himself, my Light Warden will get plus two attack. She doesn't care who does the healing. When any character is healed, she gains plus two attack. Look at that. I don't think my opponent realized that. Or maybe they didn't care. Fair enough. Um so now here are my choices. I could kill something with him, then heal him. Like, I could kill this and then heal him. That would reduce the amount of damage on the other side by a lot. That would make her bigger. I could hit for five. That's pretty cool. And it would leave me with six mana. I could play two of these. Again, I'd be getting into danger zone with area of effect spells. The other choice is I could play him, which would use up all my mana, because I have no other way to use the one. He'd be a six... or uh, seven, six... She'd be a four. Th no, I'm better off doing a plan that involves healing her. Yeah. For right, for right now, this is much more effective. Heal that, make her bigger. We're going to attack directly. I don't want to waste her killing that junky stuff. That these two guys without help can't even get through him. And I'm gonna play this because it's more expendable. And I'll play one of the fairy dragons. But even though I have enough mana to play the other one, I'm not going to. If all of this stuff survives, then I'm kicking my opponent's ass anyway. If there's a Holy Nova, I'd rather have this in my hand where it's not dead. Holy Nova. Play him and then Holy Nova? Holy Nova. Okay. It's not that I didn't see it coming. That's why I didn't play here. So now... This guy is pretty dangerous, but I don't have a great way to get rid of him. If he get if my opponent plays two more cards, he'll be big enough to Shadow or Death. Because he just gets plus one, plus one whenever my opponent plays any card. Plays another minion, he gets bigger. Plays a spell, he gets bigger. Can be very dangerous, but I think I'm just going to go with uh, 
Wait, Fairy Dragon and Stormwind Champion. If he plays two cards, this guy'd be big enough to kill him without dying. Three cards, he'd be able to trade for him. That would be pretty impressive. I don't think he's been saving that many inexpensive cards. Nope. He's going to go with playing bigger cards, which makes sense. He's very good. Ah, see, this is a really good minion. It gives taunt to the minions on either side. Now, he ch he could have played it in between and given taunt to both of these guys, but he chose to only give it to the ogre, because that means if you gave it to both of these guys, I could choose which one of the taunt minions to attack. I still wouldn't be able to attack her, because there's anything with taunt and she doesn't have taunt. That's how it works, right? You have to attack the things thing or things with taunt first. But the things with taunt are all treated equally, so if they both had taunt, I could attack him just as easily as this guy. Because she chose to play this on the one side and only hit the ogre, I have to attack the ogre first. I can't attack this guy. Fortunately, I have a better plan. I mean, I guess I could just Shadow or Death him, but that's... Actually, hold up. I was thinking I was going to mind control him and have a 6-7 taunt ogre of my own. That would be pretty good. He can't attack right away if I do that, though. And just realize, if I could just blow him up with this. And if I play the Spellbreaker and silence this guy, then he'll be a 2-1. I have enough mana for both of those things. That's probably a much better play, actually. He's getting bigger from that. I'm going to kill that. And then heal my, heal my guy back up to 6, because I can. And now I really have control of this situation. Because if he plays some really impressive huge thing, if he got another legendary and played a big ugly one, I can steal it. He can buff his guy, but because he's silenced, he doesn't get plus one, plus one every time he casts a spell anymore. You do have a huge gun. You got me there. Alright. Now what do I do? I don't really want to steal that guy. He's too big for Shadowward Pain, though. He's got that. He's got an attack of four. He's in that perfect window where it's hard for priests to use a lot of these cards that care about the attack. So he could just trade for my guy. What I'm thinking right now, I'm not going to steal that. I'm going to save this for something that's going to win me the game. This guy's fragile. He's not going to win me the game right now. He's probably just going to trade this to kill one of my things anyway, and I'm going to make that sure, because I'm going to start beating my opponent's face into the ground. And heal myself, because I'm the only thing that needs healing, other than my opponent. Now, he's got just as many cards as I do, but he has half as much health and half as much army. And if he gets a really big, fat, awesome minion, I'm going to steal it. So, things are looking up. Okay, now I have infinitely more army. Alright, she's a mainstay of the priest, and I don't think I got any in here, right? But a 1-3 one, for 1 is already good stats. You play that, guess what, it beats all those 2-1 one for 1s, like it can kill them and not die. So it's pretty fantastic just to have a 1-3 one, for 1, which you mostly only see from class spells, because they have that extra point of stats. But whenever she is, whenever any minion is healed, including mine, my opponent's going to draw a card. So I have to be very careful about that. And I think very careful in this case... Oh, let's see. I could mind control and steal the 6-6. Six, six, not be able to kill her, but I would have the 6-6. Six, six. What are the chances that he's going to play something worse than this? I think this guy could just win me the game. He'll be able to draw an extra card by hitting this guy, which she'll survive, and then healing her. But, I don't know, I think if I have the 6-6 six, six and I hit for another 4 right now, I might be in a very good place. The other choice is I could Shadow Word Pain this guy, but then I don't have enough mana to mind control him, I'd have to just deal with it. I think stealing a 6-6 six, six is probably the best move right now. It's a bit of a gamble. He could play something much, much, much worse than a 6-6 six, six with no abilities, right? The battle cry is already used. Oh, that's no good. Mind Vision lets him copy one of the cards in my hand. He either got a Holy Nova or a Shadow Word Pain. Now, the Shadow Word Pain is useless because my minions are both too big. Holy Nova, though, could be rough. If he hits that... Oh, okay. If he, if he had the Holy Nova, he could have hit him, 
Okay, well that makes life easier. This guy has charge as well. That was going to help a lot. I was going to use my use my shadow word to blow up the priest because she has less than three attack. Boom! Doesn't matter that she has the extra the extra three health. And I'd play my charge guy, and that's a lot of army I'd have. I'd probably just win. Okay, we're up to four and zero. Oh. I start feeling weird when I have this many wins and no losses because whatever's coming next is going to be rough. But I, I bet that person had several wins. And they had good. They had a legendary. They had a lot of like strong cards in their deck. Things things just worked out in my favor, just the way it came down, I guess. I was certainly trying to be as efficient as possible, which, you know, is kind of how you win games, especially if you have both have similar decks. But, but I I don't even know, I don't even know if I could say that because if you have similar decks but they're both rush decks, it's not necessarily being efficient. It could just be rushing down your opponent. You asked. So this is a mage who has no losses. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit of a rough match. I'm going to get rid of him because he's expensive. The rest of this, I, I like that if my hand goes 2, 3, 4. That plus the coin, I should have some control over what I'm doing at the beginning of the game, which is mostly what I'm looking for. I will get those other cards eventually, but at the beginning of the game, I want to be able to play the stuff. <laughs> So this really needs to die, because if she could buff it somehow, it, it, it this attacks twice per turn, basically. I mean, it can't do much against minions. If it attacks a minion, it's going to take at least one damage, right, and die, and it doesn't even get a second attack. But if she can boost its attack somehow, it would be getting that bonus twice, and that could be pretty dangerous. Um, on the other hand, all I could do right now would be coin out the Loot Hoarder, who only has one health, and I'm against a mage, so anything with one health, she can just kill it if she's willing to spend two mana. And she would, because she'd have board control, right? She'd spend two mana, kill my guy, hit me for two, and she'd still have a guy, and I wouldn't. So, coining that out, not a good idea right now. I'll have better options next turn. For now, I'm just going to have to take at least two or three damage. She probably doesn't have a way to boost its attack right now, although she could have... There's a... There's a two-one for one that gives plus two attack until the end of turn, that would be adding four damage if used on this thing. So now I have options. I can coin out the Imp Master, who deals with this pretty well. I mean, either her or the Imps can kill this, and this thing's double attack isn't too useful against that. Or I could play the Loot Hoarder and use the coin to Power Word Shield him, or I could play the Loot Hoarder, play the coin to Holy Smite this, which would probably be smart. But I'm going to go for the Imp Master. Just seems like the way of the future. It gives me two one ones, so that's spreading out my guys. She still has four hit points right now, so it's going to be difficult for a mage with three mana to do four damage without using the dragon hawk, and then she'd lose it. She can still like one of the funny things about wind wind fury is if she's planning to sacrifice the dragon hawk to kill something, she can still hit me once first, and then hit whatever it is she wants to finish off. Which I almost thought was going to happen there, but no, no cross thing. All right, well I'm going to kill that for sure, although she'll become much more vulnerable. And Let the dark end. that's her quote sounded really weird there. Let the dark end. What? I don't know. So I'm pretty sure I want to do that. If I play this guy, he. You know, his three hit points feel a little vulnerable. I'd, against a mage, I'd really rather play him when I have five mana. I can play him and then heal him up to five. But right now, I don't know. It's not bad. I could also play the loot hoarder and give him power word shield. Seems a little silly on a guy that you kind of want to have die and who's already vulnerable to silence. I don't want to do that. I can hit this and I could just heal her, but it only leaves me with one mana is the problem. Maybe just healing the Imp Master is the way to victory against the Mage. That's going to annoy them a lot. If I just do that and... Yeah, yeah I'm going to Power Word Shield. See what I draw first before I do anything. I'm not going to waste that on a one hit point minion. So I'm going to kill it. And then heal her. And then she'll do one damage to herself. She's starting to get obnoxious now. It, it takes a lot of damage. Even though she only does one, it takes a lot of damage to kill her. And she's putting out an extra source of damage every turn. Even if these imps only do one damage, obviously I don't care if I sacrifice them for stuff. 
if she wants to keep them down, she's spending her ability every turn to do that, whereas I'm spending my ability every second turn to heal her up. Okay. That's gonna kill the 1-1. One, one. Does it does what Kona Cold I like Kona Cold a lot. Four mana. It deals one damage like you target one minion, it deals one damage to them and to both adjacent minions, and then freezes it so she can't attack now. If I silenced her, this the freezing is actually a buff, basically. So if I silenced her it would get rid of the cold, but of course she'd lose her imp master ability, and I don't want to do that. Must consider. If she was like big attacking thing and I needed her to attack right now, though, I could use him to dispel the silence. But no, not not going to do that. Um, I don't really want to return her to my hand with him because she'd lose her power word shield. So I think I'm just going to play the loot hoarder. He always knew he was kind of a sacrifice. I'm going to heal her back up to full. She will make me another imp. And yeah. The mage did. The mage is just trying to stall for time, though, is what it seems like. It's tricky, though, because the priest also wants to stall for time, and like, you can't both be right. One of you obviously needs to be more aggressive than you think you do. So he's got taunt, which makes him dangerous, but he only has four hit points, so I should be able to get rid of him somehow. He's much too big for Shadow Word Pain. Yeah, I, if I had Shadow Word Death, I could kill him. I could use this guy for two damage, play this, to charge for two damage, keep all my imp stuff going. Um, well, I could use all my stuff to attack him, but she'd be left with one hit point. Then she would die when she creates an imp, and, and it's not any help. Not any help. So I think, yeah, I think this is the best way to do it for me right now. I'm going to save the Holy Nova for sure. I'm not using it just to do two damage to one minion. I'd love to play him and heal him, but I can't, can't risk it right now. Actually, first thing we're going to do is attack with this guy. I can draw a card. See if that makes any difference. It doesn't. I didn't think it would. I could also, like, holy smite him. That would leave me with an e even number of mana, which I could use... Oh, you know what? I'm going to holy smite him, actually. So I'm attack like this. Because I just realized I can brewmaster and return the imp to my hand. He's a one casting cost imp. Like, I can replay him later for cheap. And it seems like a good opportunity to get out this guy, who's fairly fat. She does. She's one mana short of Flame Strike, which is the deal four damage to all enemies, or all enemy minions spell. So this is a good time to have him, because she has to deal with him now, or at least take five damage before she can Flame Strike. Now, Flame Strike, like my Holy Nova, Flame Strike is a common card for the class, so it's not that hard. Like, there's a reasonably good chance that anyone in the arena can have you know, one to three of those basic cards, if it's a basic card they really wanted. Okay, she uses spell and her ability and most of her mana to get rid of that guy. She's going to heal herself for two. I haven't done, like, any damage so far, but she hasn't done much to me. I've been managing this okay. Look at all the cards I've got. This guy is pretty obnoxious against a mage. We're definitely going to trade him. Kill that. I'm tempted to play him and then just replay this imp. If she does have a flame strike, like this the imp master when she at the end of my turn is gonna take her one damage, make one imp, and then she'll be in range of the flame strike. She would have only have four hit points, but the flame strike wouldn't kill this guy. It would just make him mad. He'd be a five three, and she wouldn't ha that that would take all of her mana. So he would at least have one turn of being alive at five three, and then I could heal him. That's not the worst. I could also play this guy and heal him, which would make him 5 toughness. And... I mean, that that would survive a flame strike, but it wouldn't leave enough mana to heal her, which is what I was thinking about. So, no, okay, I mean, if she has a flame strike, you know what, it's fine. I don't, I don't mind losing the Imp Master and a couple Imps. Because this guy is kind of like an insurance policy. Not only will he easily survive the flame strike, but he'll get to do a good amount of damage first. Uh, uh, I mean, after. Flame strike? Fireball. That's different. Okay, so she's going to kill him, but she's going to leave... Oh, she's not going to leave my army alive. She had Arcane Explosion. I don't think of Arcane Explosion too much because I don't like it. It's, it's a weak card in Constructive. To me, Constructive. To me, if you have spell damage... 
this is doing a lot of area damage for two mana. And honestly, on some classes, this would be an awesome card. If this is like a warrior card, I would use this. Well, warriors pay one to do one damage to all minions, including their own, which is sometimes good, often bad. But like this is only enemy minions, and that's pretty good. In the arena, having area damage like that is well worthwhile, especially if she does if she does have some spell power in there. But yeah, I don't like it that much. She's getting pretty low in health. I'd like to heal her, but I also want to get this guy out as a 4-5. She didn't use an area spell. She might still have one. Hmm. This is 3, 4, 5 to heal something. I don't want to play that. Surprise. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to play him. I'm going to heal him. I want him to be tough enough to survive stuff. Hit for 1. I'm going to play the Fairy Dragon. If she has an area spell, then she's going to get to kill everything but him. He should survive an area spell. If she has a big single target spell, she can kill him, but then I should still have the Fairy Dragon. I'm trying to even it out, depending on what kind of things she might do. She doesn't have enough mana to shoot him and Flame Strike. I went second this game. If you, you you can tell if you forget whether you use the coin or not. Uh oh, she has an arcane missile. No, she just did it. It, it still made sense, but I'm, I like that my guy survived. She had one more mana left. If she had an arcane missile spell, it was random, but it probably would have killed him. If you ever forget if you use the coin, you know, the ha a handy way to do it is if you, if you ever have less mana than your opponent, then you you went second. Now, that could get messed up by a few weird cards that, like, blow up mana crystals or gain mana crystals. But usually, if you ever have less mana than your opponent and you haven't messed around with that stuff, then, yeah, you probably went second. Which means if you don't have the coin, nobody does. Um, I, I want to heal him for sure. Her, she'd be very fragile if I played her. Although, the fact that my opponent doesn't have any minions out makes me tempted. A flame strike, another flame strike would kill them both, though. I kind of want to save his silence ability. You know what? I'm going to risk it. you got to take risks sometimes. I'm going to risk that she doesn't have another Flame Strike, at least not in her hand. She's still only drawn one-third of her deck. If she had two Flame Strikes and got both of them in her hand, that would be very unlucky for me. If she has five Flame Strikes and she just has more Flame Strikes, then I was going to get Flame Striked anyway, so holding off wasn't really helping me. I normally try and save this in my hand for, like, a finishing blow. Because she's ex she's kind of expensive and she's so doomed normally. But if your opponent has no minions in play, they're going to at least have to do like use some kind of spell to kill her. If they have to use a card to kill her, it's not that bad. If they use an area spell and it kills all your guys, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I didn't really expect her to live. But if it if that means that he survives, I'm okay with that. All right. Hey, Nito. Okay, so I'm going to play her and heal him. I think, though... hate to do it, but I, she didn't flame strike that time. That might have been a good time to flame strike because it would have killed them both, and she didn't. So I'm going to play this guy. I want to play him first because I, he has to silence something. He can silence this guy, right? His, his ability was a battle cry. It's already been used, and frankly, it was a drawback anyway, so... Dispelling him, like silencing him, doesn't do anything. It still plays the effect, and he still his card will show his silence, but it makes no difference. Even if he returned to my hand, he would get his battle cry back, which only hurts him. But now that he, I've got that out, I'm going to play her and heal him. Actually, it doesn't make any difference, that's right. Healing him is not something that would be silenced anyway. It's just health. She's the one that's getting a spell effect. I'm not going to play this because it's all my eggs in one basket, right? I still want this as a surprise for finishing, or more likely to kill an enemy minion that she's not counting on me being able to kill. This is this is getting tense, though. Like, I'm ahead in damage and I have an army, but this can all go away so fast. Oh, look at that, Blizzard. She's dead. She was very dangerous. And these guys are very badly wounded and can't attack. So she doesn't even bother picking one off, which she could have with her thing. She's got a secret now, that's no help. I have to find out what that secret is. Here's the, 
There are a lot of things it could be. One one thing is mirror entity, which would give her a copy of whatever minion I play. So this is a great time to play this. Because if she gets a copy of that, it's a small minion. And that's what it was. The next step I'd attack her and see if it was it a vaporize, which destroys any one minion that attacks the mage. Or it could have been the arm the armor spell that gives the mage eight armor when she's attacked. So you gotta try and eliminate the different things that it could be. But no, that's fine. Because I'm going to is it worth wasting a Holy Nova? It would heal these guys a lot. Hold on. I think I want a Holy Nova. I, she's going to be able to kill these guys so easily if I leave them alone. If I Holy Nova, it'll kill him. I, I like this play, actually. I hate that I'm only killing one guy, but for once, I need the healing from the Holy Nova more than anything. It also healed me and did damage to her. Now, if this can hit her, <clears throat> I can heal him even more because his health goes up to 7, right? He starts as a 4-3 because of the damage. But his maximum health is that high. And I'm actually going to power word shield this guy. Spread out the hit points a little bit. Because that way he can survive a flame strike. And this will be fantastic if my army survives. I actually probably should have cast the power word shield earlier in my turn. So I would know I had him. And then maybe that would have changed my plans for that turn. But it worked out fine. I was worried about all that other stuff. Polymorph. No. Okay. That was her whole turn. I don't know what her cards are, but they weren't helping. Now I can play him, give these guys the bonus, and they can attack. Right, they can already attack, so that'll be awesome. Behold the might of Stormwind. Yeah, Dark behold. I heal myself, and I'm done. I'm in a good place. I have mind control if she plays something amazing. I have Shadowward Death if she plays something big but not that great. And I have Shadowward Pain if she plays something small. It's only four attack minions that I can't do much with, and even then I could steal I could steal him if I really wanted to. Now here's a good question. Thing, if I steal him with the mind control, I just cast a spell, I'm pretty sure I will get to draw a card from him. Let's find out. Ah. I I had pretty much one. Her secret could have done a lot, depending on what it was, but this game was pretty over. We're up to five wins and no losses. It's starting to get weird and scary, but we're going to see how much weirder it can get next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.